So your aquarium stinks. The fish tank is smelly. You're looking to fix the fish tank. Maybe your loved one is complaining about it. It's in your living room, it's in your bedroom. I know the drill. I've been through this over and over and over and even with loved ones, so don't feel bad. Um, aquariums, they can stink. And I wanna dissect this today and kind of talk you through how to fix it and what is actually probably going wrong with your fish tank. So when a fish tank smells or gets stinky, the number one thing you think of is the water. You're like, hey man, something's wrong with the aquarium, but that's actually not where I'd start. The, the Where I'd start, first of all, is fish food because fish food is actually the most common thing to have stink in your household what happens is the fish foods uh, sometimes it uh, expires and or sometimes just you have a bad seal on the cap a lot of times what we'll do is if a fish food if we think something is smelling bad put all your fish food and chemicals in ziploc baggies that is a lot of times why uh, people are thinking their aquarium stinks. It's actually not the aquarium, but it's the fish food rotting. And there is an expiration date on a lot of fish foods. And secondly, obviously we're gonna go to the aquarium water. First of all, what I want you to do is test the water. Get yourself some test strips. If you're not that far yet, get on Amazon. I'll throw a link in the description box. We use a couple different brands. For the most part, I use the Tetra brand. These in the aquarium co-op are kind of like my go-to brands. A lot of people talk trash on aquarium test strips online, but these things are pretty damn trustworthy and it really beats kind of using the liquid test kit. We have that as well, um, but this stuff is super easy. So back to why your aquarium is smelling. If you think you're beyond checking like the expired food, Put your fish food in Ziploc baggies. Now we're gonna move on to the water. First, take a look at your fish. Do the fish, do they look like they are kind of lethargic or do they look happy? Are the gills moving a lot? Look at their gill plates. Sorry, I bumped it a little bit. These fish are obviously looking amazing, but um, if the, if the gill plates are moving fast, there's probably something wrong with the water. So what we're gonna do with the test strips is we are going to test for two things. We are going to test for nitrates and we're going to test for ammonia. And I'm not gonna go through testing right now. Essentially all you do is take this little test strip and you dip it inside the water. Um, for those of you that have done this already know, it comes with tons of different strips. I highly advise you just dive into it and just get some. So you don't have to be ashamed if you're not testing. This is a, consider today a new awakening so no judgment here so if after you do your testing if you have night high nitrates um, anything over like 40 parts per million is going to be high if that's the case that's best case scenario because then we can just do a water change what we have to do is remove like 30 to 40 percent of the aquarium water and add new water a lot of people don't know this um, you can do that in a couple different ways. You can use a water changer, you can use buckets, however you want. So that is not a bad case, honestly. But if you test for ammonia in your aquarium, that's where things get spicy. Because um, what can happen is probably the cycle um, in your aquarium is screwed up and you're gonna have to start over. If that's the case, um, to fix all your issues, what I would do is I would go to your local fish store or reach out to another fish aquarist and ask them for an established sponge filter and throw that into your aquarium because that will jumpstart the cycle. A lot of people don't know that's kind of like a little DIY hack. Um, just by jumpstarting your cycle, you can fix all of your ammonia problems because there can be tons of headaches when it comes to trying to cycle aquariums if you're kind of new at this. Um, plants can also help bring down nitrates. Um, a lot of times tanks do get kind of stinky because the tanks have nitrates in them and people need to be changing water, but they're not. The light in here is flickering, that's kind of creepy. But yeah, I have tons of videos on floating plants. They're really easy to keep. Um, here's water lettuce, everyone seems to love the water lettuce. Uh, plants are mother nature's way to kind of filter the aquarium. I know they're kind of uh, scary for those of you that haven't kept them but you can use super easy plants. 
like the guppy grass. See, it literally just, it grows in there and just does whatever it wants to and the fish love it. These are our breeder tanks. Here's some more guppy grass. <sighs> Let me flip the cam here. So to recap this, your fish aquarium is stinky and it's smelling maybe because of a handful of reasons. Number one, check your aquarium fish foods. Put all those in a Ziploc baggie. Conceal that smell in itself inside a Ziploc baggie. Um, number two, test your aquarium water because if you have nitrates, you're gonna have to do a water change. This is gonna have to be something you're gonna have to get used to soon. And second, if you have ammonia issues, you have a cycle problem. Your aquarium isn't properly cycled, which happens all the time. You don't gotta beat yourself up. Um, get yourself an established sponge filter if possible. Um, hopefully that helps you answer this question um, when trying to fix your stinky aquarium. I've dealt with this. I've had uh, my ex-wife actually used to just complain about it so much. Our house smelt, um, but guys, honestly, live plants. If you can involve live plants in your aquariums, they are your savior and your aquariums are never gonna smell again. Ask me how I know because I have a house full of fish tanks and it doesn't smell in here. Um, I mean, minus just the smell of maybe humidity, but that's a smell in itself. So guys, without further ado, please subscribe to the channel. I, I'm begging you. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna beg you. But without further ado, hit, hit me up in the comment section too, guys. Uh, I try to answer all the questions and talk to you guys about just kind of like questions you have. So subscribe to the channel, like the video. <laughs> My aquarium is stinky, guys.